Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and often deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system, the human body, is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We want to help you change your life today. We want to help you change the lives of loved ones, friends, family members today. Get your loved ones or family members off, your, off their prescription drugs and get on a good nutritional supplement program. If you have questions about ingredients, formulations, the Longevity products, 844-236-6010 is our number. Today and every day on the Bright Side, 844-236-6010. If you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to our conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls in. Uh, we'll try to get to them in the second segment, uh, the, the end of our second segment, so we can get to as many calls as possible. 844-236-6010, first come, first serve on our phone lines, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben team, or you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com, order products directly off the website, or you can go over to uh, pharmacistben.com. That's my blog that I set up with uh, Robert Lundgren. Thank you, Robert, for doing that. And also, now you can check out criticalhealthnews.com. And that's my blog I do with George Norrie. You can purchase products or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, we are talking skin, skin care. Billions and billions and billions of dollars are spent on skin care products for the most part, the vast majority of which do absolutely nothing except make something, make your skin feel like something's happening, make your skin feel like there's something on top of it. And that's what most of us do when we put a skincare product on. We rub our skin, we feel the product, and we say, oh, we're moisturized, or oh, I've done something to my skin. Negative. No, that's not what's happening. You're feeling wax, you're feeling oil, you're feeling gook. And I know because I used to... Man, I made so much of that stuff. I made so much of that gooky product. Don't do it anymore. I only make those truth products that some of you guys have enjoyed. Truthtreatments.com if you're interested in checking those out. I don't like wax. Don't like oil. Didn't like working with them. I remember when I worked for Blistex, I used to have to wash the beakers. I was low man on the totem pole as the college guy as the intern. And I'd have to wash the Blistex stuff off the beakers. And man, I hated working with that stuff. Blistex, well, I don't want to mention any, any products in particular, but the point is, is that for the most part, when you're putting a skincare product on, you're putting wax and oil and preservative and emulsifier and surfactant and stuff that's doing nothing for your skin. It's doing nothing for anybody except lining the pockets of some CEO and uh, some skin, uh, skincare company shareholders. There's two ways to buy skincare products, or there's two ways to make buying decisions on a skincare product. How the product feels and what the product will do for your skin. Neither is good or bad. It's not a problem to use a skincare product just because it feels good when you rub it on. You know, you get out of the shower, you rub on your shea butter or cocoa butter lotion or your gold bond medicated lotion, whatever it is, and you rub your hand you, uh, along your, on your body where you put the cream on, and you say, oh, that feels good. Nothing wrong with that. The skin has got a lot of nerves, and there's a sensual nature to skin care. There's nothing wrong with that. The problem comes with when we confuse the feeling with doing something. This is encouraged by marketers who don't want us to know what's happening because the products that contain ingredients that don't have anything in them are cheap. And the profit margin's huge. Can you imagine you're paying for 90% of your product is water? 80 to 90% is water. 
people are complaining, not complaining, but people are, are commenting on my truth treatment products, saying they're expensive. They're not expensive. There's no water in them. So you're getting 10 times the material. If you've got a 90% water, that means you're getting 10% stuff, which isn't even active. The, the 10% that's not water is wax and oil. So you're getting 100 times the ingredients as far as functionality and activity goes on the skin when you use truth treatment products. So that's not expensive. The reason skincare products can be cheap is because they're not, there's nothing in them. And there's nothing wrong with it necessarily, but don't confuse feeling good or feeling something with something happening on the skin. We've been talking about hyaluronic acid now for a couple of days. Hyaluronic acid is a classic example of how misunderstandings about ingredients can be exploited by skincare companies. Hyaluronic acid is critically important inside the skin. But that doesn't mean you could put hyaluronic acid on top of the skin and get the benefit. Products that are called hyaluronic acid serum and hyaluronic acid cream, and I see them all over the internet now, that purport to have anti-aging properties because of their hyaluronic acid are scams from the word go. And while the prices have come down on these sort of products, they used to be ridiculously expensive, now they're cheap, you're not going to get any skin health benefits. Does that mean that as far as topical skincare products go, there's nothing we can do to upregulate, to stimulate hyaluronic acid or collagen or fiber? No, that doesn't mean that. Absolutely not. We can do wonderful things if we know what we're doing topically. We can stimulate hyaluronic acid production in an exercise fashion. We can stimulate collagen production in an exercise fashion. In fact, that's the best way to turn on HA, hyaluronic acid production. And that's where skin exercise comes in. We talked a little bit about it. We touched on it yesterday. There's lots of ways to do skin exercise. We're talking skin cell exercise, not skin muscle exercise. We're trying to increase the dynamism, the movement, the growth, and the subsequent production of an extrusion and secretion of hyaluronic acid and collagen and moisture factors and growth hormones and natural sun protection. Yes, you can turn on natural sun protection if you know what you're doing with a topical product, as well as healing molecules. Exercising or stimulating, improving the movement, the dynamic nature of skin cells and their chemical extrusions, their chemical secretions is called upregulation. And I absolutely love that word. And if you want to know one word, if you want to remember one word when it comes to staying healthy, that's the word upregulation. It means make it more, increasing the production of, and there's lots of ways you can upregulate all the good stuff in your skin. It does require stimulation. It does require exercise. And by far and away, the most important and topically relevant way to exercise skin cells, to stimulate skin cells, to turn on the production, the extrusion of all the good stuff, is to apply acid to the skin. Not battery acid, not sulfuric acid, not all the things we think about when we think about acid. Acid has, has this kind of negative connotation. Well, guess what? The skin is acidic. The skin makes acids. There's something on the surface of the skin called the acid mantle. The acid mantle is a protective layer of acid, fatty acids, on the surface of the skin. The skin's got a low pH. The pH scale, the acid scale, starts at zero and goes all the way up to 14. Zero to 14 is the pH scale. Zero is acidic. Zero to seven is acidic. Zero is super acidic. Your stomach is producing hydrochloric acid that has a pH of maybe two. That's pretty darn acidic. Sulfuric acid is like 1.6 or something like that. Your skin's pH is right around anywhere from 4.5 to 6, so it's slightly acid. 7 is neutral. Water is classically referred to as neutral, and uh, it's an example of neutrality. So it's about 7. Just to the left of 7, or less than 7, if you will, is going to be acid, and skin is slightly acid, slightly acidic, 4.5-ish to 5. And that's where it needs to be. That's where it needs to be to be healthy. That's where it needs to be to heal. That's where it needs to be to fight microbes and bacteria. That's where it needs to be to provide a healthy environment for the good bacteria that live on the skin under ordinary circumstances. Well, guess what? When you use soap, soap is by definition alkaline. One of the worst things you could ever put on your skin is soap. In fact, many skincare lotions and creams are alkaline. In fact, most Skincare lotions and creams are alkaline, high pH. Not super high, but higher than the skin. That's one of the problems associated with soap and one of the problems associated with standard skincare. On the other hand, low pH, using low pH topical products can have a, some tremendous health benefits and anti-aging benefits and skin exercise benefits as well. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Okay, welcome.
Welcome back to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 at 2 11 Central Time. If you miss a program or you want to review a program, they're all up at brightsideben.com. Also, benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that, up, setting that one up. And then also a big thank you to Robert Lundgren for setting up uh, pharmacistben.com, my blog. Uh, we post news stories as well as blog posts, and also you can purchase any of the longevity products you like off of pharmacistben.com, and you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team as well. Our number today, 844-236-6010. Hang tight. Got a couple lines open for you. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you here momentarily. Uh, let's see. So skin exercise, lots of ways to do it. The best way to do it is to drop the pH. Most of the stuff, many of the things we do to the skin, raise the pH on the skin. Lotions and creams, for the most part, are alkaline. Why? Well, acid is active. Alkaline is sleepy. This is why the inside of your body has to be alkaline, the blood. Many of you have heard about the pH miracle and all the stuff they talk about alkalinizing your fluids and alkalinizing your blood and making sure the inside of your body is alkaline. That's because when things are alkaline, when they're higher pH, basic, some people say, acid base, acid alkaline, however you want to phrase it, when it's over pH of 7, it kind of has a slow, sluggish kind of effect, relaxing effect. Oxygen is alkaline, it has a relaxing effect on things. Respiration is alkaline. Blowing off carbon dioxide, you blow off acid. So you, you maintain a, a, a pH of around 7.3-ish, just slightly alkaline. That's where the blood needs to be. On the other hand, the outside of the body needs to be acidic. Skincare companies keep their products alkaline because they don't want them to break down. Things break down faster when they're moving, when they're dynamic, when they're acidic. So skincare products tend to be alkaline. Soaps tend to be alkaline. Soaps, by definition, are alkaline. That's the definition of a soap, is an alkaline substance. So ivory soap, as gentle as they claim it is, 99 whatever, 99.9% .9 pure, or dove soap, or spar soap in general, or most soaps, most cleansers, even liquid cleansers, tend to be alkaline. They raise the pH of the skin. It's not the end of the world because your skin will buffer itself back down to uh, where it needs to be. The fatty acids will take care of that. But why would you want to do it? Why would you want to raise the pH? Uh, why would you want to make your skin alkaline? Psoriasis, eczema, skin diseases, acne, these are all associated with with uh, alkalinity on the skin. Soap is really not good for your skin, you guys. People say, well, what am I going to clean my skin with? Use coconut oil. And if you don't like, uh, if your skin is too, he if it's too heavy for your skin, cut it with aloe. Get some coconut oil, warm it up a little bit if you like, put it on a cotton, a co cosmetic puff or a cotton pad, and then you just wipe uh, makeup off or dirt with the coconut oil, and then use a, a aloe vera rinse to drop the pH down. Aloe vera has got uh, a, an acidic pH. Aloe vera is amazing stuff for the skin, partially because it's acidic. Aloe vera juice, anything acidic on the skin is going to have an, a stimulating effect, a turning on effect, a growth effect, a dynamic effect. This is the best way to exercise your skin. Now, almost everybody out there has probably heard of glycolic acid and lactic acid and, and alpha hydroxy acids. These are a family of acids that are found throughout nature. Every, every ant makes alpha hydroxy acids. In fact, you're going to start to see people eating ants as a delicacy in this country. They already do it in other countries, but in this country, insect protein is, is getting set to be the next big thing in the world of food, in the world of food processing. I'm predicting in the next couple of years, you're going to start to see insect insect uh, foods. There's already uh, lollipops, a little scorpion inside of them. I don't know if you guys have seen those. Insects are a great source of protein. Ants are actually quite tasty. And one of the, I haven't had them, but supposedly they're quite tasty. And one of the reasons is, is because they've got a little bit of acidic flavor to them. Ants make alpha hydroxy acids. Native, uh, native populations in South America and in the Amazon, they're, they're known for eating termites and ants. And one of the reasons is, is aside from the fact that they're great sources of protein, one of the reasons is they taste good because they got this little kind of lemony acidic flavor to them. Every ant, every plant, every cell in the body makes alpha hydroxy acids. This is what makes these things so amazing for the skin. They're completely non-toxic. You could drink them. We do drink them. When we drink lemon juice or orange juice or apple juice, we're drinking alpha hydroxy acids. Yet when you put these alpha hydroxy acids on your skin, you get incredible benefits, especially if they are low pH. Now, just because you use an alpha hydroxy acid product on your skin, just because you buy one at this department store or drugstore, doesn't mean it's acidic because it can be buffered or neutralized. 
The pH can be made high. A lot of companies will do this. They play games. The skincare, the skincare business is filled with nasty, anti-humanity, anti-consumer games. And one of these games is people will sell you alpha hydroxy acid products, but the pH will be a six or seven. You won't get the benefit. If you ever see a glycolic acid lotion or cream, the chances are pretty good. The pH, the acidity has been neutralized out of it. As I say, skincare companies don't want their products to be acidic. Number one, it'll break down. The product will break down faster. Number two, it increases the risk of somebody create, getting irritated or, or hurting themselves by leaving something on the skin. You gotta, this is why you gotta use your alpha hydroxy acid products on the skin in an on off fashion, like with a toner. You can make your own toner with apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is alpha hydroxy acid, it's acetic acid. Uh, typically, uh, uh, apple cider vinegar, any vinegar, distilled vinegar, will be around 5 or 6% acetic acid. You can uh, get a, a pharmacist to make lactic acid for you or glycolic acid. You can buy it off the internet for that matter. Make sure the pH is less than the pH of the skin, lower than the pH of the skin, if you want those stimulating effects. That means if the skin's got a pH of 4.5 to 5, you want your alpha hydroxy acid product to be around pH of 3 or 3.5 or even 2.5. If you, if you want a, a quick down and dirty way to know how acidic your, uh, your toner solution is, if you're making one at home, get some pH paper, dip it in, and you'll see what the pH is. If you want a quick way to do it, use aloe vera. You can buy aloe vera juice at any Walmart or, or Kmart or department store, aloe, or any pharmacy for that matter, and aloe vera will get you zinc, and aloe vera will get you some beta hydroxy acids in addition to alpha hydroxy acids. Aloe vera is amazing stuff. You can grow your own aloe vera and, and break open a leaf and use that as a toner just by rubbing the inside of the leaf on your skin. And if you're using vitamin C and vitamin A as, as in your truth treatment products, if you use a low pH toner before you use your vitamin C and vitamin A, you're going to get better penetration of the vitamin C and vitamin A. Not only will you get a stimulating effect from the alpha hydroxy acid, but you'll get better penetration from your nutritional products as well. All right, got so, so, so much more to say, uh, but we're going to have to, we're going to have to save it for another day. We're going to talk uh, on our next program. We'll talk about some of the substances that are secreted in abundance in response to, acid, uh, to uh, using a toner, an acid toner, including hyaluronic acid, including growth factors, including moisture factors, and including sun protection factors. Yes, using alpha hydroxy acids on your skin can upregulate the production of natural sun protection factors, especially something called uroconic acid, that is nature's way of protecting the skin from the sun without using sunscreens or sunblocks. We'll talk about that on our next Bright Side episode. Time to hit the phones. 844-236-6010 eight, uh, eight is our number. Paul in California. What's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Paul. Going once. Paul. We got Paul. Paul, Paul. Did we lose Paul? Okay, we're going to put Paul back on hold here because I don't know where he went. Paul, we got you. All right, we'll take a break. Paul, if you're on, uh, we'll, we'll try to catch you when we come back from our break, Paul. I don't know what happened to him. And if you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to all our calls here on our next segment. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's uh, see if Paul is back. Paul in California, what's going on? Paul, you there? Yeah. Hey, Paul, what's up, man? I'm trying to figure out what to do, and everybody's trying to hide the fact they gave me spinal meningitis and left me to die. That type of thing. Um, you have to be a little bit more specific, and you have to speak into the microphone because I can't hear you that well. I, was, I went in to get an epidural injection. I was supposed to get one in my neck. I got at least one, maybe two, in my lower spine. They told me the worst case scenario beforehand is that, I, that it would melt like liquor should be gone in six months. What they did instead was, put me on, when, I gave me, when they gave me the injection, I instantly blew up like a balloon purple. Blew what did they purple, inject? Purple. What did they give you? Uh, they, the stuff from many CC starts with an O. I was looking for it just now. Um, did this right, Paul, Paul, listen, Paul, Paul, stop it. 
Paul, yeah. hang on a hang on a second, Paul. Paul, are you on a speakerphone okay. or something? Because I can't hear you. Paul, Sorry. you're all muddy. Yeah. yeah, put it on a put. Get off the speaker if you're on the speaker because you're coming in. It's hard for me to understand what you're saying. I heard something about an epidural. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was having on so I could hear you over the, uh, the radio station. Um, okay, go ahead. I now. went in Nick. to get an epi- Okay, I went in to get an epidural injection in my neck. They said I wouldn't put, be put out for this procedure. That um, I was supposed to get a epidural injection in my neck. They said the worst case scenario is that it would melt away like liquor in six months. Okay. I go in. I end up getting an inj- injection in my lower spine. Um, I swore I swore up like a well. First off, I passed. Uh, I was out. They did put me out. They woke me up, and they're, they're like, here, sign this, sign this. And I passed out again. They get me awake again, and they keep trying to get me to sign something. I keep passing out. Finally, they get, they're get they laughing and joking, and, oh, there ain't no nudity or nothing here. It's just where the, an inch of where the skin is where we gave you the injection. I was like, okay, if I get a cop. So they, I signed something. I passed back out. Next thing I know, they're lifting me off the gurney, running me out the door, throwing me in a car where my wife's been waiting for two and a half Paul, hours. Paul, I need to hear what the, what's, what the problem is here. An epidural injection is a generic t- term. It just means they're sticking something in the epidural area of your spine. Okay, they, they gave me tainted meds from many CC. Okay. They, they, I, got, I ended up with two bulging herniated discs. A slash rip slice in my ter- uh, spinal canal. All right, all right. I got, I get the, I get the grim, I get the grim picture here, my friend. Here's the deal. How old are you, Paul? I'm 50, 52. Okay. okay. They don't give anybody an epidural injection unless there's some serious pain. Usually, it's for labor pain or for some serious disc pain or back. Pain. I got hit by a drunk driver. Yeah. Now we're, now we're talking. Now we're talking. They supposed to give me one in the neck. They gave me one in my lower spine to begin with. Okay, well, I can't help you and with that, but here, back. well, I, Paul, I'm going I'm, to, I need you to hang on, because I got calls here, and I want to get to them, but I want to help you, okay? I can't help you with whatever the drug was. I don't even know what the drug was that, th- that they put it in, put in your body, but this is the problem with medical injections. You're sticking something into your body, and, and anything can happen. There's no guarantees here. So we want to build your joint. The, the main thing you want to do is build your body back up again, but we got to clear the medicine out. It's probably a good idea to clear the medicine out first. Get yourself some bentonite clay and start using a tablespoon or half a tablespoonful once or twice a day in water, and that will help clear out some of that poison that's in your blood, some of the drug that's in your blood. You can also use charcoal capsules. This is for everybody out there listening. Great way to detox if you're trying to get off of meds or Somebody like with Paul, somebody gave him a shot. And he's trying to clear the medication out before he starts healing. Bentonite clay and charcoal, also zeolite, are great detox substances. Charcoal is like a, is like pharmacy 101 for detoxification for anything, food poisoning, anything you want to clear out of the system. Bentonite, charcoal, or zeolite. Then you want to start to uh, build that back, build your back back up again. Now, if you've been hit by, you said you were hit by a car, hit by a truck. Uh, that's a mechanical trauma. You got to start building things back up again. Now, m- many of the things we do in life, especially at the age of 50 or above, many things we do in life start to accumulate. Our bad habits start to accumulate, and if if we could get well, away with it, nothing was wrong with my back. Say they, again. They, 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 the doctor went and got drunk and gave me the injection in my back. Well, nothing was wrong with my back. Sounds like you I got it. You... Swollen for three years. I was swollen for three years, severely swollen. Well, Didn't let me help you with. Like let me help you with that, Paul. And, I, and like I say, I got a bunch of calls here, so I want to get to them. But I'm going to help you with that. Uh, when you have a when you have swelling, you have pain, or you have inflammation, it become you have to have zero tolerance for anything that gets into your blood through the digestive system that interferes with the recovery process. The body recovers. The body heals itself. You guys, you get hit by a bus. If you're doing everything correctly, the body will build itself back up again. This is the nature of the flesh robot we call the body. It heals itself. It recovers. And not only does it recover, it gets stronger after it recovers. The bone is stronger at the point of the break. So not only does the body recover, if, if, if everything's done correctly, not only will the body recover, but the body will recover better. So if it's not happening, we're doing something. The bus that hits you, the car that hits you, whatever hits you, we can't help you with that, but we can help you with the recovery process. Number one, focus on the digestive system. If you have any digestive impairment, you're not going to be able to absorb your nutrients. Use your glucogel caps. That will do two things. Number one, it will build the digestive tract. Hang on, Paul. I'm going to let you go, buddy. I'm going to let you go. All right. You got to build up the digestive system. You got to strengthen the digestive system. You got to make sure that you're using all your building nutrients glucogel caps, bone soup, protein, 
especially liquid protein. Whey protein is amazing. Throw an egg in there. Do it, uh, if you're building from, from a mechanical trauma, you want to do it twice a day. Make sure you're using vitamin C with your glucogel and with your protein. Why? Vitamin C turns on the production of connective tissue. The protein will give you the raw material. The vitamin C turns it on. That's the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. So this is not just for Paul. Hopefully Paul's still listening. This is not just for Paul. It's for anybody who want, is interested in rebuilding post-injury or post-trauma or post-surgery for that matter. Glucose Glucogel caps, Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. Sip on the BTT all day long, and especially sip on it after the glucogel caps. Do your bone soup. Make sure you're using your Biolumin Nightly Essence, three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. Throw in the Fucoid Z. Again, three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. Make sure you're using your Ultimate EFAs. That's part of the Healthy Start Pack. Three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night. Take them with food and throw in some digestive enzymes. And not only will you help your help your body absorb your nutrients, but the digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes also have wonderful anti-inflammatory properties. All these, stra all these strategies, strategies I just gave you are not only helpful if you're uh, suffering from a mechanical trauma, like got hit by something, or something fell on your head, but they're also great pre-surgery and post-surgery, especially if you're uh, pre and post-surgery for a bone injury or a Achilles heel or a tendon or something along those lines where your body has to rebuild. You guys, the body is a healing system. If it's not happening, we're mucking up the works. Patch up the digestive system, eliminate problem foods, use your Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, make sure you're using protein and uh, essential fatty acids and vitamin C to help the whole process, to uh, help the whole process, the building process, uh, to turn on the building process. A couple other interesting and helpful nutrients, zinc, very important for building, 50 milligrams a day of zinc. Picolinate, P-I-C-O-L-I-N-A-T-E, picolinate. Vitamin A, 20,000 IU, and vitamin D. Make sure you're getting out in the sun. Yes, the sun. Make sure you're getting out in the sun. Don't worry about burn. Just don't burn. Don't worry about, uh, you know, sun damage, etc. Just don't burn. Make sure you're getting regular sun to get that vitamin D, which is also very important for building. I hope we helped you, Paul. And I'm sorry I had to let you go there. All right, hang tight. If you're on hold, our number is 844-236-6010. We'll be back right after this on The Bright Side. Side, let's go to let's take Bruce, Brucey Bruce. What's up, man? Bruce in Connecticut. Hey Ben, how are you? I, I know we're running out of time because your show's moving so quickly today. I want to share, um, ask a question, share an experience, and give you a couple of testimonials um, real okay. quickly. The question I have is: Can I first thing in the morning mix some coconut oil in a teaspoon with some? squeeze some fresh lemon in it, mix it together, and put it on my skin, would there be any benefit to that? That's Heck the yes. In fact, I would, I would do the coconut oil. I wouldn't mix them together. I would do the coconut oil first, and then a little lemon juice on a, a cotton pad to wipe off the coconut oil, and your skin will be unbelievably soft and smooth. And then if you use vitamins, vitamin C or vitamin A, retinol or vitamin C, fatty vitamin C, after that, you'll get better penetration. Also, by the way, I should tell you, after you shave for men, after they shave, or women for that matter, uh, after you shave, you get better penetration of nutrients to follow. Shaving will also increase penetration of active material. All right, I'm sorry. Go. And by the way, when we talk about increasing penetration, we're also talking about increasing penetration of bad stuff. So if you're using a crappy lotion with parabens and with preservatives, you're going to get more penetration of the crappy stuff too. So if you're improving penetration of active materials post, uh, post alpha hydroxy acid or post lemon juice, uh, you want to make sure you're using a really clean product like my Truth Treatment products, FYI. TruthTreatments.com. Go ahead, Bruce. I'm sorry. Um, actually, I want to talk about that in a second, too. Um, so what, one thing that's been working for me is putting coconut oil on my skin and taking um, some uh, of that, I, I, I think it's called nascent iodine. Yes. Uh, together, I've really um, been able to prevent myself from getting any sunburns this summer. Interesting. And I don't know why the two of them... Work, oh, yeah. but that's, but that's good. And finally, I wanted to give a testimonial. I've, I've been using, Ben, your Truth products for three months now, and I had a little tag under my 
right eye, and I've been putting it under my eye very, very, very um, little um, on both eyes, and the tag um, just kind of disappeared, which is really wow. incredible because um, I didn't know what to do about the tag. I, I love the products. I've been using them. I think they're the greatest skincare Thank product you, I use. A friend of mine, an actress by the name of Sean Young, um, has yes. been using the products too, and she has been doing great within her Thank with you. It, on her skin. Thank her you, skin's Bruce. been really tremendous, and I think she'd like to come on and and, and give a testimony and talk to, uh, about sure. um, the Truth products. So um, I'm, I'll give you a call. And we'll talk about that, Bruce. That's that would be awesome. I'd love that. How, I want to know what did you did you use the retinol under the eye for the for the skin tag? You know, what did you do? my. My favorite product that you have of the of the four is the uh, one that comes in the dropper. The serum, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. you have good taste. You have good taste. Yep. That's eighty yep. percent vitamin C. Thank you, Bruce. I got to move on. Thank you so much. I'll call you later. Okay. 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 Bye now, Ben. Have a great weekend. Have Take care, morning. man. Bye. Take care, Bruce. Thank you for sharing that too, buddy. That was really cool. All right. Um, truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. If you want to purchase any of my truth treatment products, um, retinol gel. Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and my Omega-6 Healing Cream, truthtreatments.com. Mary in Oregon, what's cooking? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi. I, uh, since we're running out of time, I won't uh, ask my question. That no, I go ahead. We got, we got a couple minutes. What's going on? Okay. All right. Well, I went and talked to um, uh, the, the doctor that is on the scientific board of longevity with you yesterday, and I tried. Uh, he wants me to take electrolytes with the, my calcium supplement. Which Dr. Glidden? Hart. Dr. Hart? Yeah. I don't know Dr. Hart, but go ahead. Uh, and But he just won't take the time to explain what electrolytes are. Oh. Well, you come to the right place, Mary from Oregon. I can help you with that. What, what, uh, and they're very cool, by the way, electrolytes. But what else? Did, is that, was that your question, or did you have something else you wanted to talk about? Yeah, that was my question. Okay, well, that's a very good question, because we do throw that word around a lot, electrolytes. But let me explain it to you in a, a simple way I can, because they're super cool, and we should understand what they are. You know how they tell you to get out of the pool when, you're, uh, when there's uh, lightning? Remember how when you were a kid and you were swimming and the storm would come, and they say, everybody out of the pool, right? You know what right. I'm talking about? Right. Okay. Why do you suppose that is? In your, I know you're not an expert, obviously, you're a regular person, but in your regular person mind or thinking, what, what would you think is the reason to get out of the pool when there's lightning? I just, I wouldn't think, I don't think like that, so I don't know. Okay, well, then I'll tell you. Okay, good. That's fair enough. Uh, the reason is, is because when you're in the pool, the pool, the water is made up of a combination of water and minerals, usually chlorine and a few other things, depending on what's in the water. When, uh, when minerals and, and uh, ele uh, elements are in water spread around, they conduct electrical energy. The combination of water and, elect uh, and elements, and by elements I mean the sub stuff on the periodic table, the carbon and the hydrogen and the oxygen, when they're free and they're floating around in the water, they conduct electrical energy. Now some of these elements conduct electrical energy better than others. Potassium especially, sodium especially, magnesium especially, uh, calcium especially, these all have a very, very high co uh, conductive nature. They conduct electrical energy very effectively, and they especially conduct electrical energy. They carry electrical energy in, when they're in a fluid. And uh, the body runs on this kind of energy, the combination of fluid plus these elements. And as the fluid is moving, specifically the blood fluid is moving, and the lymph fluid is moving with these little minerals in them, the potassium and the sodium and the magnesium, an electrical charge is generated. Guess what we call the magnesium and the calcium and the potassium and the sodium and uh, these other various elect electricity-carrying elements? You know what we call them? Electrolyte. Yes, bingo. That's what an electrolyte is. Simple as that. It's a mineral or an element, to be more exact, or an atom, to be super exact, that carries an electrical charge. And it especially carries the electrical charge when it's in fluids. And this is important for a lot of reasons. Number one, it's important because this is how the body gets energy. The, the electrolytes, the potassium, the magnesium, the calcium, etc., as they're moving in the blood, an electrical charge is being generated. If the blood is sticky, 
if the blood is dirty, if the blood is clogged, all from a lack of oxygen or from eating the wrong foods, this electrical energy is not generated as effectively. If we're deficient in these electrolytes because uh, these electrolytes are urinated out, every time you urinate, you lose the electrolytes. If, we be, if we're not replacing them, we can become deficient, we'll end up tired, and we'll end up with low electrical energy. Our cells can't do, the, do their business, we won't be able to detoxify as well, we just won't be as healthy. So replacing the electrolytes are, is an extremely important part of good health. There's lots of ways to do it. Living foods tend to be rich in electrolytes. Vegetables, uh, for example, veggie juices are, good, are, are high sources of electrolytes, good sources of electrolytes. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine is my all-time favorite longevity product and one of my all-time, maybe my all-time favorite nutritional supplement product. Why? Because it's electrolytes. And when you mix it with water, you generate an electrical charge that you can drink. You're drinking electrolytes, you're drinking electricity, you're drinking electrical energy when you drink the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and water. So just think of electricity riding piggyback style on potassium and sodium and calcium, magnesium, these various elements that we call electrolytes. They're like ferry systems. They're like shuttle systems. They're like a taxi driver for electrical energy. Just think of a little piece of electricity jumping in a, an electrolyte taxi and that taxi riding around through your blood and delivering its electricity passenger to the various cells in the system. Did I explain that well? It's kind of a goofy metaphor, but did I explain yeah. that? Yes, you explained it very well. I think he doesn't really understand the BTT then, because he says, no, the BTT does not have electrolytes in it. And I, I can't imagine he would say that. It did. Oh, it's loaded with electrolytes. That's one of its major features. This is what Dr. Wallach, this was Dr. Wallach's, one of his great insights was the idea that we're electrolyte deficient and you can replace these electrolytes by drinking them. And that's why he came up with the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I don't know who Dr. Hart is. Um, I'm, you know, I don't know everybody at Longevity, obviously, so I'm sure, I'm sure he, he's legit, but I, don't, I, I can't imagine him saying... Your con, you still have your convention booklet? I uh, no 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 I you. can look I'll look into it is it heart H A R T or how does he do you know how he's H A R D T Doctor Hart I'll look him up and and I don't know everybody at Longevity so oh, he's on the web page too he's on the okay. first, on the scientific board his picture I will, there. I will look into that, and if he's on the, the board, I'm sure he knows that the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is electrolyte rich, and you can just see it right on the supplement facts. Vegetable juices are a great source of electrolytes. Living foods in general, sprouts are an amazing source of electrolytes, and then uh, supplements like the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is also a wonderful source of electrolytes, and you want to replace them throughout the day. That's why I always say sip on your BTT throughout the day. You'll get the electrolytes delivered to your system all day long, just like an IV drip. And by the way, if you go to the hospital, they'll put electrolytes right in your blood in an IV drip. So using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine can duplicate that. Thank you so much for your call, Mary. Appreciate it. And thanks for bringing that up to our attention. All right. That's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. I want to encourage you to check out my Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Serum, Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Balm, and our Retinol Gel. And also, if you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a spectacular, awesome, wonderful day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.